Hello there, this is Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait A Minute production. Today is the 27th of July 2013, I'm at Aitam and today I'm going to try the famous Laksa Pasar Aitam and that's where they're making it and I just came down from the, well, what should I call it? Uh, Kelloxy. So let's see what they have here. There's no space to sit down. Uh, Oh, Yang Mo. Oh, yeah, hi, oh, yeah. So pretty girl. Huh? Oh. So, this is the soup broth uh, for the laksa, and this is the uh, low shi fun, I think. Here, my cute low shi fun. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, this one has no. Uh, so, uh, using uh, rice, white rice, and uh, it has no oil. When it comes to low shi fun, there is oil. This one has none. So, so when it comes to laksa, uh, there will be onions, uh, fresh onions for the taste and also some mint you can see that there's mint there there's a uh, chopped cabbage uh, cucumber onions and this is you uh, oh, may prawn fish oh prawn fish uh, sauce and uh, chili yeah ginger bun uh, okay uh chong fa okay chong fa uh, so that's that's the soup with the fish. Yo, me, yong, me, me, sardine, sardine. Uh, what else do you put inside? Uh, the chili. Chili, sardine, and that's it. Uh, yeah. Okay, then boil for how long? Uh, boil for how long? Uh, yeah. Ah, ki loi, ah, ki loi, ah, bo. Chi ying gan ye cham do ni bo dong tao. Oh, five hours. Five hours they have to do the broth. So that's uh, excellent. And uh, this is going to go to the Ah, uh, yeah. We're going to do it. Oh, okay. So that's the master seafood and he does the soup and everything else and his assistants here doing all the rest. And uh, there's no place to actually sit down. Yes. Uh, there's no place to sit down. Let's go. Let's go. So, so there is a sugar cane as well. So normally there is another shop uh, food court there. Normally, I'll take the one from here, the laksa, to there to drink and to sit down. But there is no place to sit down at all. So, wow, it's uh, four ringgit a small mango. So it's more expensive than what I remember. So never mind. It's quite a small bowl actually. It's, isn't it supposed to be a small bowl? Uh, mm, well, it's okay. I guess it's still famous here because uh, it's open from 11.15 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Hey, Kishi San, ga? Kishi San, Kishi San. My, uh, me yat, eh, thau. Me yat, eh, thau. Ah, yeah, Okay, Wednesday, uh, maybe twice a month, only on Wednesdays. So it's always good business here. And the um, owner or the soup maker is very, 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 very busy. And I'm still waiting on my place to sit down. Okay, maybe I have to share a place. So I'll see you in uh, part two of this series. See you in Malaysia, man. Bye bye. Hello, in Malaysia, I'm at the Aitam uh, Al Laksa. So. So I'm near the soup is very very warm. So this laksa is uh, four bucks. So it's famous for everything else, and I'm ordered the aitabu as well. Go sir, Chen. So the. What do you call uh, sugar cane is 120. So let's test the sugar cane. Sugar cane, as usual, is sugar based, so it's sweet. Good, good, good. And uh, very good for when 
after going up the KLOC. So you can see a lot of, uh, not a lot, but uh, some chilies and the chabai or chibai burung. And uh, those are, uh, this is a type of spice in uh, Malaysia, which I think young chef says something, and uh, you can see the fish, and also the lo loads of uh, vegetables, onions, cucumber, and whatever. It's actually, uh, from my perspective, is it's very famous, but it's a bit spicy for a small bowl of uh, laksa. In my humble opinion, but uh, definitely, hopefully, the taste will be very good. So let's get on packing. Mm. Elsewhere, you get laksa that is sweet, and this one is uh, the, the soup by itself is salty, and you can taste the sardine as well. So it's a unique thing. Thank you. So let's put the money aside. So it is salty and uh, that uh, what we call black sauce. Uh, you have to mix it around to get all the sweetness all over the laksa. So this is uh, not loshi bun. Uh, loshi bun is uh, oily. This is not. This is made from uh, white rice. So. Let's taste it. The soup is um, is full of flavor and is marinated or goes well with the rice flour, which has uh, no taste at all. So it's a nice complementary food set. After uh, mixing in it, yeah. mixing the soup with the fish paste, uh, the soup is sweeter now. So it is nice as well. So you can uh, opt for no uh, fish sauce if you like your laksa salty. And it goes well with the sugar cane drink. And I don't know what this is for, the salt thing. Better ask them. And we are at the Pasar Aitam, which is uh, very crowded all the time. So, okay, <laughs> oh, so he says that if it's too uh, too sweet, it won't taste nice. So you put this salt inside. So um, I'm not gonna opt for the salt. I don't know what, uh, today is a Sunday. Uh, there were a lot of Indians in the galaxy. A lot of them. So I'm not trying to be racist here, but holy shit, there were a lot. Although it's a holiday season. It's a holiday season, but why are there so many Indians? Uh, where did they come from? Did they come from uh, Nasi or something? Mm. I better eat this quick because normally in Malaysia, if you don't have any uh, tables, uh, people will just stand near the tables and well, it's kind of like uh, it's a very awkward thing, you know, people waiting for the table and you are just here sitting, sitting and talking to the food and something like that. So as in the words of my good friend from Newcastle, Mark Lowe, uh, when he was saying about the Germans in New Zealand being abandoned in the Well, it will be the same as in the Indians in the uh, They are just crawling out of the woodwork. So it's kind of funny but a bit racist as well, so sorry. So uh, 
gonna end my review now. Uh, I will give this uh, laksa a four stars out of five. It's a good taste. Uh, it's a uh, I mean, it's on the pricey side of four ringgit, but uh, in the small bowl as well. And, but it is a good, good laksa. So if you're ever in Aitam, Penang, come here and try it out. It's uh, very, very nice and not bad. So uh, see you in Malaysia. Bye bye.